All right, here we go. Number 19 for our college algebra homework number four in our MyLab math. It says list all possible rational zeros of the function. And here I've taken my function and copied it down over here so I can work with it. And we're going to introduce you to something called the rational zero theorem. Rational zero theorem. And what the rational zero theorem says, it says if you take all of the factors of the constant divided by all of the factors of the lead coefficient and look at every possible combination of those, then that will be all of the possible rational zeros of the function. So here's what we need. We need all of the factors of the constant, which is 9, divided by all of the factors of the lead coefficient, which is 10, and then we're going to look at every possible combination of those. All right, so what are the factors of 9? Well, plus or minus 1, 1 goes into 9, we know 3 goes into 9, and 9 goes into 9. So those are the only factors of 9. Now, factors of 10, plus or minus 1, 1 goes into 10 evenly, 2 goes into 10 evenly, so does 5, and so does 10. So these are all of the factors of 10. And so now what I want to do to find all of the possible rational zeros is look at every possible combination of these. So we're going to do 1 over 1, 3 over 1, and 9 over 1 to start with. <clears throat> 1 over 1 is 1, 3 over 1 is 3, 9 over 1 is 9. And then we're going to go to the next number. We want to do 1 over 2, 3 over 2, 9 over 2. So 1 over 2, 3 over 2, 9 over 2. And then if you see the pattern, you just keep going. So next, 1 fifth, 3 fifths, 9 fifths. 1 fifth, 3 fifths, 9 fifths. And I've run out of room, so we're going to have to go down the next line and do over 10. 1 tenths, 3 tenths, 9 tenths. Plus or minus 1 tenth, 3 tenths. 9 tenths. So there's a ton of these, but that is all of the possible rational zeros for this function. And so now I have to pick the correct answer. And I can see that the whole numbers 1, 3, and 9, the only answer that has those 1, 3, and 9 is A. Check it. Done. Yeah. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me, and thanks for watching.